the Australian Reserve Bank is expected to keep interest rates elevated for an extended period in order to beat inflation. But do you believe that the risk of recession could multiply as a result? The RBA at the moment is very laser focused on inflation. So the latest quarterly inflation reading was 7%. That's the headline CPI. The monthly readout was 6.3%. If we look at the equivalent of something like a core CPI, so for example, the weighted median, well, that's at about 5.8%. So what we can see here is Australia is struggling with inflation, and that's something that the RBA is keen to get on top of. Furthermore, unemployment is relatively low. It was 3.4%, ticked up to 3.7%, but is still low. So the RBA then has signaled that high interest rates are a distinct possibility. Potentially, they're going to keep rates higher for longer, and potentially there could be even more rate hikes, especially since at the moment, consumers still seem to be spending. And it's taking quite some time for those rate hikes to really filter through into the economy. Now, part of the reason for this is that many of the mortgages in Australia are currently on a fixed rate period. People had locked in low interest rates during the low pandemic era rates. And those rates have yet to roll over onto the new variable rates. Many of the fixed rates in Australia are only two to three years, maybe four years at most really meaning that many of those mortgages will take over onto the variable rates, which will now be significantly higher. And this time period, this leg, is making the RBA's job a little bit more difficult, which is why the RBA is potentially signaling they'll keep rates higher for even longer. Another factor here as well is the RBA was somewhat burnt by moving too late on its rate hikes, and has also been significantly criticised for not getting inflation under control. So their objective function right now is really laser-focused on inflation rather than economic growth. And if economic growth starts to slow down, well, probably the federal government will be blamed for that, not the RBA. So they have a clear incentive to really tackle inflation, even if it ultimately risks a recession taking hold.